Hey everyone, you are watching Tech Time Out and in today's video, we will solve this problem that's called Tournament Winners. The link to the problem is in the description and you need premium subscription to be able to access this problem. If you don't have one, doesn't matter, you can still watch the video and follow through. So we have a table that's called Players. It has columns, Player ID and Group ID. Player ID is the primary key of this table. Each row of this table indicates the group of each player. And next we have the matches table. It has columns, match ID, first player, second player, first score, and second score. Match ID is the primary key of this table. Each row is a record of a match. First player and second player contain the player ID of each match. First score and second score contain the number of points of the first player and second player respectively. You may assume that in each match, players belong to the same group. The winner in each group is the player who scored maximum total points within the group. In the case of a tie, the lowest player ID wins. Write an SQL query to find the winner in each group. Return the result table in any order. The query result format is in the following example. So we have the player IDs and the group IDs. Player 15, 25, 30, and 45 belong to group ID 1. Player 10, 35, and 50, they belong to group ID 2. 20 and 40, they belong to group ID 3. Next, we have the matches table. And as we see, that match ID is the primary key of this table. And in this table, first score is the score corresponding to first player. Second score is the score corresponding to second player. And what we have to do here is that for each group, find the player who has got the maximum score. So in group ID 1, player ID 15 has got the maximum score. And how? So player ID 15, in the first match, he got a score of 3. And then in the second match, he got a score of 0. And let us now see what player ID 45 got. Well, 45 had a score of 0. And that is it. And next, player ID 30, he got a score of 1 plus 2, that is 3. Now, player ID 15 and 30 both have a score of 3. But since 15 is less than 30, so the minimum player ID will be chosen. And that is how we got 15. And similarly for group ID 2 and 3, that's how we calculate the total scores. And these are the player IDs with the maximum score for the corresponding groups. Now to solve this problem, what we are going to do is for each player, we are going to find the sum of the total scores and then rank those scores. So when I write this query, it will be such select group underscore id group id has to be a part of the ranking because we are going to find the player id for each group so this is important and then the player underscore id and before i move any further we are going to join the two tables matches and players because we are going to need the group id information from the players table and the scores information from the matches table. So we are going to need to join the two and the joining will be on the basis of player ID and first player or second player. So this will be from matches M join players P and the joining condition will be mentioned later, but let me just go ahead and write the rank function over it will be partitioned by group id because the ranking will be for each group so for the first group that is group id 1 we are going to have rank 1 2 3 and so on and for group id 2 we are going to have a fresh set of ranking that is from group id 2 again we'll have a rank of 1 2 3 and so on similarly for 3 
so group id order by and now the ordering will be on the basis of the total score of each player so and this will be case when player score id equals first underscore player then we are supposed to take the first score else second score end now to make this a little clear what i did here was i am going to sum the scores of the player but we have two sets of scores first score and the second score so when the player id is equals to the first player then we take the first score that is the score corresponding to the first player and when the player id is equals to the second player then we take the second score so this is how we do it and this will be in the descending order and also player underscore id ascending order now as we know that the ranking has to be in the descending order of the total score because we want the highest score to have the rank one and again if there is a tie then we need the player id with the minimum value to have the higher rank so if both 15 and 30 have the same score then 15 is the minimum so this makes sure that 15 is ranked 1 okay and let me alias this as score underscore rank and all of this will be from matches m join players p and the condition will be that player id is either equals to the first player or the second player great and finally since we are doing this for each group id and player id this has to be grouped by group id and player id now let me just run this query for once to be able to explain to you how this query actually works this is not the final result though so for group id 1 we observe that player id 15 has been given a rank of 1 and similarly the rest of the player ids have been given ranks on the basis of their scores and also which and in case of a tie the minimum player id has been given a higher rank similarly for group id 2 we have a new set of rankings so first for 35 second for 50 and so on for group id 3 yeah now from this data set we are going to have to choose the player ids such that the score rank is one and this will be for each group id so let us enclose this in a subquery or even better we can have this in a cte so with player underscore rank as the cte and here again let us have select group id player id from player rank where score rank equals one so the solution was accepted done so this is how we can solve this problem thanks for hanging out with me have a great day goodbye thanks for watching this video don't forget to like this video and drop your thoughts in the comment section below also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get instant updates more videos coming up stay tuned